going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Prison Empire Tycoon. All right, so it looks like we have a brand new event that's coming up, and I'm pretty sure it's temporary. It's called the Ghost Fortress. So inside this episode, guys, we'll figure this thing out and see if it's actually worth playing it or not, aka the alien invasion. So hopefully it's not like that. All right, so with the objectives and rewards, ends in three days, 14 hours at the time of this recording. I'm starting maybe a couple hours late. Um, we got a new legendary card. We got the Thriller Pop Star. Now that seems pretty cool, man. That's like an old, like an Elvis, Michael Jackson type look, almost. All right, so it's close to midnight and he's ready to terrorize the inmates in your neighborhood with the catchiest Halloween beats. All right, so we got the pass key, event chest. Mine says it's deactivated. Um, let's see, you can unlock this key with the event chest. Once you have the key, it will remain active during the entire event giving you important upgrades and rewards. All profits are multiplied times two. Prison reform value is multiplied times two. You uh, get unlimited profits while not playing and get more legendary fragments. Now, let me see, is this worth getting? Oh, it's gonna cost me a hundred. Hell yeah, let's get, let's get it. <laughs> That's a no brainer, man. Let's get the key, man. All right, so we got the iron chest with tough as nails. What's the next one? Gaming PC. Reduced time needed to process prisoners in the admission area. We got extreme solitary confinement. Reduced acts of violence from medium security prisoners. And rare microfiber. Reduces cleaning time needed for cleaning staff. We got epic Android. After the service of the police in the 80s, he was stored and forgotten in the warehouse. Now fully recharged, he'll come in handy controlling the prisoners. I like that. All right, so cool. We got that little gem thing right there. That doesn't cost some extra cash, but it cost me gems, so that's cool. All right, so prisoner under strict surveillance, the zombie. All right, this guy came back from the dead just to end up in prison again. He's quite angry. All right, so that's, that's fine. Let's go ahead and travel to it real quick. Ghost Fortress. I'm excited about that, guys. How about you? I'm sure you guys are as well. So are we there? Yep, we're there. All right, so we got a bunch of RoboCop-looking guys over here. Everybody's marching. We got the prisoner arrival. We only have eight that we can get right now. There's a, there's a tentacle over there in the water. So I guess we're going to have to do this one up as much as we can. We got some witches in there cooking. Hmm. Cell modules cost one million bucks for this one. Wish I can zoom out a little bit more. All right, we got these cells. Let's go ahead and get the cells going here. We got some cash coming in, 284 bucks. All right, so we got that. And we're gonna have to go ahead and process some of these prisoners here. Here they come, coming on the boat, guys. Yeah! All right, so this cell module over here is gonna cost 200,000 bucks. And another one over here is gonna cost two million bucks. So hopefully by the end of this event, we can at least get the cell one, the second one unlocked, I would think. Now, if you guys are playing this, let me know how you guys are taking this uh, strategy. What is, your, what is your strategy in doing this? All right, so I think this week I will more than likely go ahead and get the carpentry workshop and the metallurgy workshop. And I definitely need to get this infirmary taken care of as well, okay? Also make sure I gotta get these cooks also. It's just a lot of stuff you gotta do, guys. And I don't have a lot of a lot of time to play so i'm gonna make the most of my time hopefully you guys do the same thing as well all right so let me go ahead and get some builders here shorten that time a little bit and it didn't really do very much all right so can't hire any more so we're, we're poor man come on let's go prisoners get processed let's go get some money all right so here we go this is cool robocops are actually running now <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, RoboCop. All right, so I had asked a question in the last video. Now, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and put a link in there for you guys. And also, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask on this episode as well. Now, on my main channel, which is called Swilt Entertainment, I was deciding if I was going to put this game on that channel as well and just have one gaming channel all together because we just hit 10,000 subscribers there, which is cool. Or would you guys rather stay here? I'm going to make a poll in the community chat for you guys and please guys vote you know how you guys think i should do it keep everything on this channel 
or move it all to the main channel and just have one big giant fest over there. Cause it's more easy, it, to me, it's a little bit easier to focus on one channel for gaming. I have three. So just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just wanna hear your opinions and what you guys feel. All right, so let's go ahead and get this builder here, guys. Let's get the other one back. We got more money now, more sh money. Okay, that one's getting done there. And then prisoners are coming in. And uh, let's get this stuff. And I need to make sure my, my uh, security is taken care of here. I wanna make sure they have guns if they need them. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here real quick. Let's get out of this. I wanna make sure if there's a riot or anything like that, they will be very, very well equipped, okay? I don't want to put too much out there right now, but I want to put a little bit. It's all about the rooms. Make sure the rooms are good as well. Don't really need to max anything out right now. Just need to put stuff in there. And then as you get more money, then of course you're going to max it out and get those profits. It takes a long time, guys. It really does. And I'm sure we're going to be running out of energy pretty soon. So this is the first time playing this one. I've I seen this a couple days ago that they were going to come out with this, but I didn't know how they were going to do this. I was really excited for, you know, for this to come out. New event, new ways to get prizes. Who doesn't, who doesn't love stuff like this? Okay. Got that. Make a run for the border. Man, this is actually cool, man. I'm gonna be playing this all weekend more than likely. I can't wait to see what, what everything turns out to be. Definitely gotta get this other cell module taken care of though. That 200,000, very obtainable. Two million, not so much. One million. Not so much. All right, so we got 10 out of 10. We're about to have 12. I need to make sure that we can process these guys a little bit faster. One at a time is not enough. Let's go ahead and get these things going here, man, so we can get these guys processed and in the system. All right, so hopefully we can get some of these other ones um, taken care of also. Let's go ahead and open up our other prisons here because they're closed. And I try to log on every couple hours just so I can get these things going. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Let's come out. This one's unlocked. And let's go ahead and travel to this next one. Duplicate. Duplicate, triplicate. How are we need to do it, guys? These have... These have a lot of money on these. I wish I could switch them. I mean, I wish the money was all in the collective. You know, they can give me less money, but make it all collective. That'd be nice. All right, so it looks like everything is open. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to pick on it like that. All right, so we got that. And I think we already have this thing already. It should be built by now. Oops. The bus just left. Oh, wrong prison, guys. Wrong prison. It happens. It happens to the best of us. All right, so this dining facility area here needs to be beefed up also. Because I don't want to make to where they don't get any food. Because when they come in here with no food, they get bad. They have a bad mood every single time. And that's not cool. All right, I think we have enough witches in here. But they're only making off of one stove. So that's kind of like a slap in the face. All right, so we're at 656 bucks right now. So hopefully these witches can start cooking, man. You're gonna have to start cooking for 12 people. But right now, they got enough for 10. Hopefully it's enough. Right now it's three. 
five and it's about meal time right now. So they're taking their sweet little times right now and I need them to hurry up. Take care of my prisoners. We need to get the energy, we gotta locate where it is. My goodness, why'd I do this? All right, so let's use it on the bottom. Okay, there's the water. We're okay on water, we just need to get that power up real quick. And I think the water is, the water is okay for now. All right, so we got the, the meal coming in right now. And we only got seven out of 10. Holy crap, guys, you witches. Gotta cook faster, man, I don't understand. There's gonna be a bunch of hungry prisoners and they're gonna be mad looking at me. Mr. Warden, Mr. Warden. But hey, like I said, I'll be playing this one a little bit for the every single day for the, uh, the rest of the weekend, more than likely. Look, look forward for another video so I can show you guys some progress and you can see what I'm doing. But like I said, let me know in the comments below what is your strategy? How will you be tackling this event? Okay, send some screenshots if you have to. I got the email in my description down below. Follow me on all social medias as well. And hope you guys check out some other videos that I have to the left and the right that YouTube recommend for you guys and you guys decide to check out some more and become part of the Swill family. Definitely appreciate each and every one of you guys and your support. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Peace.